Hello, I am Solash Alfred. Welcome to the HCSE poll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. St. Lucia has to vaccinate about 130,000 of its residents in order to achieve herd immunity. To date, three months following the launch of the vaccination campaign, only about 25,000 people have been vaccinated, the majority of whom have only received the first dose. Last week, both the Prime Minister and the Minister for Health said no to the idea of mandatory vaccination. Some countries have sought to address the issue of vaccine hesitancy by incentivizing people to take the jab. So, we ask, should St. Lucia look at ways of incentivizing residents to have more of them take the COVID-19 vaccine? We tallied the numbers on our voting platforms and here is how you voted. 40% said yes and 60% said no. We also took to the streets to get your opinion and here's what you had to say. Uh, no, you shouldn't be rewarded with taking the vaccine. That's like you bribe someone to take something they don't want. The reward should be given to people that need it. We need better pay. We need better incentives in terms of employment for the people, not pay people to take a vaccine. It's not 100%. Nobody knows what's going to happen 10 years down the line. Because the reason why I'm saying that because it is not mandatory. Everybody has their choice. It's your choice to take the vaccine. So you took you took it. So you you're not supposed to um. It, how you said? You you're not supposed to be rewarded to take the vaccine. Because government don't print money. It's not everything government that put people incentive. Because when I look at it, the vaccine is for your health. So if you're not concerned about your health. You don't go for it. If you're concerned about your health, you go for it. It's high time um, solution get off the butt and go and work, man, and stop blaming government, blaming Chastney, blaming Kenny, and they just sit by the roadside. They're finding money for rum. They're finding money for cockfight. They're finding money for gamble. They're finding money for all kinds of abomination. So government has to pay no, no incentive, man. Government no print money. No, I mean, we've been seeing many things online, and many doctors have been talking about that same vaccine. You know, it threatens me. To take that, to take that vaccine, you know, I prefer to stay nothing, the way I am. Not encourage nobody. I will not encourage nobody to, to take rewarded. the vaccine. To be rewarded. Who wants to go? Let them go. Who wants to stay? Let them stay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, concerning the vaccine, uh, whether you are you are rewarded or not, the decision to take it is up to you. You alone can make that decision. I think um, if they're given an incentive, it will encourage more people to take the, va the vaccine. Incentive or not, you're a high point. Because like, you don't have to do a high point vaccine. Because if you're sick, you can't get a vaccine, you can't get a vaccine for Corona. So, you don't have a high point. You're a high point. Incentive or not. I don't think it will work. I don't think they should reward anybody to take any vaccine. Because it's for their own benefit, their health, and it's for, for that thing to cure, something to travel and it's something that's important. I don't see why the benefits have to, people have to get benefits to do it, no. Thank you. Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. The St. Lucia National Trust and the Archaeological and Historical Society have both called for the recently concluded archaeological survey of the lands being developed by Cabot St. Lucia to be rejected. The organizations claim that the survey team headed by Dr. Reginald Murphy was not properly directed and that the areas which they investigated were known not to be of archaeological significance and the areas known to have artifacts were not investigated. Cabot St. Lucia has not responded to the allegations. So, we ask... Do you support the call for a new archaeological survey of the lands being developed by Cabot St. Lucia? Voting is easy. Just log on to htsstlucia.org or Facebook at HTS St. Lucia Official and vote. You can also send your response via text or WhatsApp to 584 for hts That's 584-4487. For Flow Handset owners, here's a reminder of your special voting platform. From your Flow Handset, text your e-poll response to 487. Press 1 to vote yes, 
two for no, three, no comment, and four, I don't know. Join the discussion from your flow device and get the opportunity to win weekly prizes. And our ePoll team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HCS News Force from 7pm for the results and a new discussion.